Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. I wanted to show you one extra technique you can use to add some age and dilapidation to your buildings. Uh, this technique is similar to compositing a regular image into our cityscape, except you will be bringing it in through a series of brush strokes. I wanted to add some salt deposits and oxidation factors to this building. It looks a little too fresh. So we're going to take a picture of something white and damaged, like this picket fence that I found on Google. It's peeling and it's old, it'll do just fine. So using the clone stamp tool, we're going to press and hold alter option and we're going to click an area to start cloning. Now we're going to go back and we're going to create a new layer. And call it salt deposits. As you can see, I already have another one. I'm just going to get rid of it. So with the salt deposits, we're going to we're going to check our brush size. Make sure it's we like the smudge brush. That's fine. We'll make it a little bigger. 26 pixels is fine. Keep. I'm going to put the opacity at 75%. Flow is normal. And just start brushing in an up and down fashion. The idea is for this to simulate salt deposits. Now, yeah, it looks a little too much right now, but don't worry about that. Just in an up and down fashion. So that's a good way to start. And one thing that you need to use for situations like this is a stylus on a Wacom pad or something similar. That way you can use actual brush strokes and you can treat it like a painting or a canvas. And that way you get much more naturalistic looking uh, brush strokes. So now that we're done there, we're gonna take this layer, go down to our layers tab and change the composition mode to soft light. And you can barely see it, but the difference is noticeable and if you do that throughout the building it'll definitely add to the age add to the fact that it's just falling apart so we're getting really close to finishing with our destroyed city the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is put holes or damage into buildings that already have another building behind it because if you erase that part of the building then there's nothing behind it so we're going to use clone stamp tools along with a few other techniques to create the illusion of a building behind another building 